Hello everyone. In this session, improving techniques. So for what improving techniques? So in the last session, we discussed some disadvantages of squirrel gauge rotor. What are those disadvantages of squirrel gauge rotor? It has low starting torque and second high starting current and third is low power factor. These are the problems involved with the squirrel gauge rotor. So these problems, these disadvantages will be eliminated by the some modifications, some improving techniques. The first is the skewed rotor slots are part. So we, by doing this phenomena, we can improve the things. Second, for high starting torque to improve the, especially for to improve the high starting torque, we are using two things. One, we are using the deep copper bars. The first thing, second is the double gauge rotor. By using these two techniques, we can improve the performance of the squirrel gauge rotor. The first is skewed rotor slots. So look at here. Generally, we discussed about the rotor slots. Rotor slots is modified by the some angle. So normal without having the skewing, rotor slots are like this. The rotor slot is one is rot. This is the one copper bar is directly like this. The another copper bar is directly like this. The another copper bar is directly like this. Here also the copper bar directly like this. So the copper bars doesn't have any winding direct direct line. But just observe here, it has some inclination angle for this. This this phenomena is known as the skewed rotor skewing. Skewing. So by doing by doing this skewing, what are the advantages we have to discuss here? Look at here. Here, skewed rotor slots improves the length of the rotor bar. Just look at here. Here, this just observe here. The length from here, length from here will be improved. Just look at here. This is a low length. This will be improved and this will be improved. So completely some weaving some angle, but it will be improved like this. It will be like this. So by this, length will be increases. So whenever here the length will be increases that increases the resistance and that improves the starting torque. Just look at here how generally the resistance equal to rho L by A. By doing the skewing we can increase the length. Length means automatic resistance will be increased. So whenever the length is increases what happen? The length will be increases resistance will be increases. Here the starting torque is proportional to the rotor resistance. Here rotor resistance will be improved then automatically starting torque will be improved. By this whenever the starting torque will be improved means the starting performance is improved. This is the importance of the skewed rotor bars. And next with this the air gap flux distribution can be made uniform. So by doing this generally by this harmonic stars can be reduced. So whenever the flux is uniform flux, we have the some uniform flux automatically torque is also uniform. If the flux is for example, it is the non-uniform flux, then automatically the flux is non-uniform torque will be produced. Non-uniform torque means it has a torque with that we have some harmonic torques also with that in, involves harmonic torques. So to reduce this by this air gap flux can be making as a uniform flux. Okay. So and we have the another thing by the reduction in tar harmonic torque. So by skewing the harmonic torque will be reduced by this following can be avoided. We can avoid the two things. One thing is the cogging, another thing is the crawling. These are the two, two phenomena that affect the squirrel gauge induction motor. So we have to discuss about the cogging and crawling separately. 
here first what is cogging so look at the cogging when the magnetic flux of stator and rotor interlock each other is known as the cogging so whenever it will be interlocked what happen just look at the example we have a stator stator consisting of the four poles for example north pole south pole and the north pole south pole for example rotor also consisting of the same poles this is all the south pole north pole south pole north pole just observe here south and north attracted towards each other here south and north also attracted both are attracted and fixed locking here then it will become the locking so whenever these are locking just observe here is there any rotation there is no rotation if they have some space there is a some attraction or repulsion then rotor will tries to rotate in the clockwise or counter clockwise direction so whenever interlock each other that will be very difficult to rotate so the magnetic flux of stator and rotor interlock each other is known as cogging due to cogging due to cogging there is no rotation of rotor there is no rotation of rotor so that's why the rotor will be fixed there the rotor will be locked there so name itself interlock means locking there there is no rotation our intention is the any motor intention is to rotation so these locking can be reduction how it has to reduct okay so this is for for induction motor only don't confuse here for induction motor yes so how to it reduce it is reduced by skewing of the squirrel gauge induction motor so skewing of we discussed about the skewing of the rotor the skewing is the important factor that due to that the due to that which will be reduced okay interlocking will be reduced second point by using the different stator and rotor slots so that means the you can take slots of stator have different and slots of rotor must be different slots of stator and slots of rotor must be different then automatically there is no interlock between the stator and the rotor so these are the two things is understand is to eliminate the cogging so cogging is very important character it must be very very useful in the uh, before data previous and further data right next what is the next topic next is the crawling so look at here sometimes the squirrel gauge rotates squirrel gauge induction motor rotates at very low speed it rotates with very low speed that is 1 by 7th time of the synchronous speed so here the speed is sometimes it is possible 1 by 7 times of the synchronous speed why it is why it is very low speed the reason is the seventh harmonic effect due to the reason is the due to seventh harmonic effect three phase induction motor is known as the crawling that's why it is called as the crawling what is the reason the main reason is the seventh harmonic so what is first we should discuss something about the harmonics something about the harmonics generally we have the fundamental thing for the fundamental so fundamental means n value is the 1 for second harmonic means it is a integer of 2 for third integer of Three. So that's why the seventh is nothing but n equal to seven. So for this fundamental, the speed value is one by one into one by one into n s like this. So here this will become one by two into n s. For seventh harmonic, the speed due to the seventh harmonic, the speed will become one by seven of n s. So generally. in the speed of the induction motor not rotate with the synchronous speed but nearly with the synchronous speed 
this is nearly with the synchronous speed so due to the seventh harmonic it will become 1 by 7 times so that's called crawling crawling means crawling means you know that very slow motion crawling means very slow motion that's why it has low speed then name itself it is called crawling for the crawling is the reason is most important thing that is the seventh harmonic seventh harmonic then how to reduce this crawling so how to reduce this calling this calling is reduction by short circuit short pitch coil short pitch coil means generally coil span we have 180 degrees of coil span so for short pitch coil if we are using short pitch coil there then coil span become coil span become less than 180 for full pitch what happened for full pitch name itself for the full pitch the coil span is fixed almost it is 180 degrees coil span is fixed almost 180 degrees this is about the crawling don't confuse with the cogging and crawling cogging means interlocking of the fluxes crawling means the slow very low speed of the induction motor due to the seventh harmonic okay so in so this is about the improving technique the first technique is the skewed rotor in this skewed rotor starting torque will be improved and the flux will be uniform when the flux we will when the flux is uniform we can reduce the harmonic so we can reduce the harmonic of torque then by that we can eliminate the cogging crawling effect on the induction motor okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you